Hi folks, it's Tony again here uh, with another quick Cody lesson. Um, this one is on a commonly asked question, how do you add another source on? Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you the simple lesson on it. This is um, for the novice user. Uh, if you already have sources here and you want something extra that you're looking for in particular, first thing that you do if you've already forgotten is these aren't all the sources that you have you're under videos you check add-ons right here right next to the word right next to files just go to add-ons right there and you can look and see um, what sources there are you can go to get more right here and click through and wait for it to come up and you can pick from here there's a whole selection of stuff that you can get um, I mean there's there's all kinds of things um, one of the easiest ways though that I find to uh, find a good source is I like to use add-on installer and that's usually already uh, pre-installed and it's going to be green it'll say add-on installer on it you go ahead and click on it and you can use the search box uh, but generally I'll check in features first and I'll show the most popular ones that people pick um, and if I'm still not finding what I'm looking for press that arrow right over here and go to video add-ons it'll be one two three four down right there and you can pretty much find what you want okay I believe there's like a new uh, UFC channel or something but anyway uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. So you're looking for a channel in particular. Um, you can go ahead and scroll through here. Add-on installer has a really great selection. And I like the thumbnails too. I think it's helpful. Um, but let's say I want to install Angry Birds, Toons TV. Let's see here. Sorry, my video is kind of crappy. The... Um, I use my phone for this so it's not showing up very good but anyway you pick your source you click on it then it's gonna say install Angry Birds Toons TV um, let's see if you can see that a little bit better but this is what you should be looking for see right there it should be scrolling on the bottom and uh, it should tell you install Angry Birds or whatever it is that you're picking. So go ahead and show you here. Click on it. Do you wish to install the chosen add-on and its respective repository if needed? Yes, please. There we go. Install. It's going to install and just wait because uh, one more window will pop up and it'll tell you um, it's brought to you by TV add-ons and you press OK. Now it's installed. Okay. It's uh, You get out of here. You press this back arrow right here. get out of there now if you want to go find it you go back over to videos go to add-on and look for it Angry Birds wherever it was installed here it is and then you can watch it and then you click on it and watch it from there um, if you want to uninstall a source Actually, I'm uh, 
using a Bluetooth mouse because I think it's a lot easier. But most people don't. So on your remote here, let's see. On your remote, there are the uh, three lines. See where your back button is, your home button, and then the three lines. You press that, and then a little window is going to pop up. And it's going to ask you add on information, add to favorites, and add on settings. If you uh, if you want to remove it, go to add on information. Okay. Take a look right here. If I can make that a little bit clearer. I can't really, but um, it does have uh, configure, update, auto update open, uninstall, disable, and change log. Go ahead and uninstall it because it's taking up space. I wouldn't leave it on there if uh, you want it gone. You press uninstall. It says, are you sure? Hell yes, I'm sure. And there, boom, it's gone. Now, if you have other sources here, and if you notice, like, on the home page, you can only have five. Now, um, you could customize that in systems, but mm, you could also take, um, if you want another channel, since you should be using your favorites list here, um, you can go ahead and add, wait a minute, oops, I didn't mean to do that. You can go ahead and add a, um, another one to your favorites. You can go back to your add-ons. And again, this little useful button right here, I love this button. This is great. Um, it's the little button with the three lines again. So I've got it highlighted on EarthCam. So I come up with these choices after I press the little three lines. And I can go down to Favorites and add it. Boom. So... I just added Earth, Earth Cam to my favorites. So just to make sure that it worked, go back, go check my favorites. And when you add a new one, it always goes to the bottom of the list. And you guys may not be able to see it, but Earth Cam is right there at the bottom. So um, that was just a quick lesson on how to organize. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always um, write to me, um, have any requests for videos um, that might help answer some questions, go ahead and uh, leave a comment below. Um, just an FYI, this is Jarvis 16.1, and um, I got a look at Jarvis, uh, well, I don't know if it's Jarvis, Cody 17. And to me personally, I think it's very, very confusing um, the way the layout is. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to upgrade. I'm probably going to avoid upgrading for a while because I tried to navigate through it and it just seemed pretty, pretty confusing. And I think for our uh, newer users out there, I don't think it's going to be uh, a terribly good deal. But um, anyway, that was just my two cents. Leave a comment below. Please like. I um, appreciate uh, any feedback. And take care.